was looking for a job in the Catholic campus ministry and I saw a posting uh, for the Catholic Student Center. I attended a nearby university in St. Louis and about two months in I realized that it wasn't really what I was looking for. It wasn't providing me with the spiritual nutrition that I needed. So my first semester, freshman year, I went over to the CSC and loved it. I was just trying to figure out my way around uh, what I wanted for a career. I eventually landed on the idea, what, what if I became an intern? I actually found it online, kind of on accident, while I was just kind of looking around one night, and I read the description and I turned to all my friends and I was like, I'm applying for this, I want to have this job. <laughs> I looked on catholicjobs.com because I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> and I found the internship at the CSC sounded like the sort of thing that I wanted to get into. So we actually had to stay with a family in the community, Tom and Laura Kent, who are a great couple. We lived in an apartment in Brentwood Forest that was owned by a former intern. That space wasn't available for the interns the year after me, and I felt so bad because I had had it so easy. The sense of community, which we're supposed to be building up, just didn't happen. One of the great advantages of being in a house instead of like myself who lived Oh, in, at the Catholic Student Center last year is I'm able to kind of separate myself from my work. I was the last one to arrive. I was really nervous about coming a week after they had already moved in and been with each other. I thought that they were already going to form these bonds that I couldn't barge in on and they were so welcoming. They help sort of balance out the emotional nature of very scientific work um, and that helps sort of re-energize going in, back into lab. It's a type of service where you really give of yourself to so many different people in a very specific point in their life. Those times when you can't really lean on your peers and the interns are there. What kept them bringing me back was just that sense of community, uh, that sense that I belonged. We have community dinners once a week and prayer right after. For the longest time before this internship, I worried about not being enough and being at the CSC makes me feel like I am enough. If we weren't all living together, then I don't think we would be at the same level of friendship that we are right now. A lot of people would say that that's too much togetherness to live together and to work together, but it is in living together that we form those those friendships and those relationships. Since those interns are available on a daily basis, they are available to help build up the community. And you really can't have communion without community. We would have loved to live together. And I'm very excited that this group of interns has this 